five in the morning. I've got my ISO turned up as high as it'll go. I don't know if you guys can see stars or not up there. Maybe, maybe it's not focusing. What's that, is that a star? Anyway, I'm about to go run about five miles. It's five in the morning, and uh, I think I said all of that already. What we're gonna do today, show some snakes that are not. Oh my gosh, it's too early. I'm about to go run, and I'm gonna be running about 32 miles this week, and I'll be upping it about two or three miles every week after until we do the Spartan race in uh, November. And I'd bring you with the run, on the run, but filming and running is just, it's no fun. Uh, so I'm not doing it, but we're gonna show you guys some snakes today that will be at the Vegas show Because there's a bunch that I didn't show you in last weekend's video. So we're gonna do that and Hope you enjoy it Ah, oh, listen, I don't know who needs to hear this but if you told me that one day I would be running five miles and laughing out loud while running because of how easy it is. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you got something you really want to do and you got this little devil on your shoulder telling you you're not good enough, bing, I'd encourage you to just flick them off and just take that step forward because it's, it's hard sometimes. There's always going to be that little voice telling you that you're not good enough and you can't do it, but don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. All right, I got, I got to do some stretching, get cleaned up, and then we'll check out the snakes. What you want to do today? All right, quick detour. Eli decided we needed to go catch some fish real quick before it gets too hot. It's supposed to be 106 today, so I think he's right. Gotta get my socks on. It's also a good reminder. I forgot to mention that I've got this huge announcement to make today. Is, oh, no, sorry. I've got a huge amount announcement coming up on the channel. I don't have everything I need to make it yet. I should hopefully have it by next weekend's video. And if you watched last week's video, then you're probably thinking that was a pretty big announcement, and it was, and it is. This one's kind of right on par with it though, so just stay tuned. I got a baby with my bare hand. Oh my gosh. You caught that with your bare hand? Yes. <laughs> yeah. No fish on the line, but at least caught one with your bare hands, anybody? Yeah. I should have brought a container and scooped some of this water up and put it in there so I could have a pet fish. Surprise! Thank you. What did Eli catch? Nothing, but guess what? I caught two big fish with my bare hands. Nice. One, two, three. Woo. Fresh and fluffy, sweet. Oh, Ooh, that was fun B roll right there. That was a blast. I love shooting stuff like that. Check it out. We're going to look at the snakes and. If there was one reason to get a Freedom Breeder rack, these rack shelves are just, oh! I haven't had to have a utility cart in here for years. Everywhere I go, I've got, ooh, a Surface. My camera's sitting on one. So helpful and convenient and just, I, I really couldn't imagine not having them in here. I got them every, every rack. Oh, so good, so sweet. Get yourself one, do yourself a favor. Okay, here's a snake that I wasn't, that I didn't show on last weekend's video, part I two. Name it chocolate. And Leia wants to name it chocolate. It's a male normal. It's Poshet Sunset. Now, here's the thing about a male Poshet Sunset you can't really price them as if they're het. Well, you can't really do that with any Poshet. 
But the thing about a male pos head is people aren't as readily wanting to get them for breeding projects because you don't want to put a male pos head to a bunch of females. You kind of want to prove them out before you start doing that. Yeah. But since you can't price a male according to a actual head sunset, your ability to potentially get into a really incredible project like sunset for basically the price of a normal ball python that that right there is a fun way for somebody who really wants to get into a project but doesn't really have the financial means this is like i mean it's almost like kind of a, a lottery ticket but not nearly as risky as an actual lottery ticket because if you ever played the lottery before you know that your chance of winning is just as good if you don't play and one of the things about this particular snake that i look at is this head stamp here for an actual head sunset it's like kind of a kind of a marker so to speak the fact that his head stamp is asymmetrical Trying to get some good light on it. His head stamp is asymmetrical. And that's one of the things I look for with a sunset to be proven head sunset. Pretty cool. Ooh, that's like a slider. Look at, ooh, look at that, look at that. That's nice. That's just on the tripod sliding on the rack shelf. Very nice. So one of the things I tell folks is if you're investing into a recessive project, then you, you kind of want to get a bunch of het females for the project and then get a male down the line that's visual so you can put him to all those females. Now, the area where I would say to not do that is if there's a project like Clown that you just wanna add a few incomplete dominant genes into and you want, don't wanna wait for a female to raise up to do that, you get a male het. You don't have to spend nearly as much money as if he was visual and you can still work those genes into that project and you just put them to a female you already have who is of breeding size. Like this guy is gonna be ready to breed next season. Uh, especially the way he's been eating. And he's an enchy yellow belly red stripe, 100% het clown. And I mean, he's just beautiful, really phenomenal looking snake in his own right. And then his ability to really add to a project into your clown project, you know, really soon versus waiting for that female to come to age is just, that's just the thing. That's where I take my little rule of thumb there and change it. In fact, if this guy doesn't happen to go at the Vegas Super Show this weekend, then I'll have no problem keeping them here and plugging them into some of my females that are ready to go next season. When I'm producing snakes, I think about, do I want this snake? Because if I do, then it makes me want to produce it. That way, if for some reason it doesn't sell, I'm like, great, it's a good plan. Try it. Just watch your hands, okay? Okay, have a nice life. Hope you don't die. <laughs> well, howdy. Now that same thing I talked about, having something that if it doesn't sell and you're lovely, 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 lovely will keep it is this right here, this Enchi Lesser Clown, possible red stripe, um, likely red stripe. Actually, you know what? That's, that is red stripe. Look at that head stamp. What am I talking about? That's red stripe. So female, <laughs> it's kind of a, I, I like to offer things up that I make that I really like to folks so that people can get on in on the snakes that, I don't know, there's, there's this double standard I hold for myself. It's like, I'm not going to get rid of it, but <laughs> I'm also willing to let somebody buy it. It's an interesting place to be. It's, it's a strange dichotomy of a, uh, it's a duality to my thinking a lot. And it's just, that's what it is. You know? There's, Ew. there's benefits on both sides. Oh, you found poop tea. All right. Well, we're going to have to clean that up then. Poop. Found it with my brain. Oh, you found the poop with your brain? I think we'll need a paper towel for this. Yes, we will. <laughs> and, oh yeah. Yeah, she's coming to the show. Thanks, T. Ooh, yeah. One more snake here that we're bringing to the super show this weekend that we didn't show in the last video last weekend. That's this pinstripe spot nose clown super show female. I mean, look at that head. Just incredible. Another snake that I won't mind keeping and raising up to breed. Opportunity to somebody that wants to breed her besides me or just have her for a really, 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 really nice pet. It is a pattern. Her skin is a pattern and it's a very, very nice looking pattern at that. Do not show that snake. Why am I not gonna show this snake? Because it's beautiful. I can't show this snake because it's beautiful? Nobody could buy it because it's super beautiful. Oh, nobody can buy it because it's too beautiful. Well. All right, well, we can go with that logic. Hey, stop. Are you staring at me? <laughs> Beautiful. So there's plenty of other snakes that I am bringing that I didn't show in last video or this Super video. Show. Super show. Ah. Hope to see you guys at the show. And I don't, I don't know, is, is there anything else we're going to film in this video? Tiny tea. We, right. do an <laughs> we just did do an update. Do an update on the blue snake. 
Ooh, one other thing that I could tell you guys, besides the thing I'm going to tell you next weekend, hopefully, we are going to be filming some episodes of Triple B TV at the Super Show because we haven't done one since Tinley with Vin Russo, I think was the last one. We kind of took a hiatus from Triple B TV. However, I really should have been standing over here when I said that we're going to be recording some episodes of Triple B TV at the show this weekend. We're going to do some updating on the blue snake. If you are somebody who would like to be on Triple B TV and you're vending at the Reptile Super Show and you're watching this video, let me know. Or if there's somebody you'd like to see that's vending at the show that you'd like to see on an episode of Triple B TV, please uh, come and comment down below. Let me know. Look forward to those episodes coming back October 1st or whenever the first Tuesday is. And then we'll be doing our Patreons only Zoom calls with those folks afterwards. So enjoy. Enjoy. I don't know if this is contextual or not. I just started recording this here, and I recorded this way before we filmed whatever video we're doing right now, but just wanted to take this moment to thank you guys for always supporting me, whatever I'm doing here. Those of you that have been liking and commenting and just supporting whatever I do, whether it's here at Triple B TV, uh, I really appreciate you guys, and I just wanted to thank you again. And uh, I hope that whatever you're doing, uh, you're having a beautiful time doing it, and. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Those of you who are new here, you know, whatever brought you here, I hope you decide to stay and maybe leave me a comment down below now, now why. <laughs> Guys, have yourselves a great evening. Take care of yourselves. Aloha. Hi, boy. Oh, oh, he's a good boy. Howdy. How are you? Is there a microphone? There is a microphone on there, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, hey, sit, bud. He's sit. Yeah, he just wants to be friendly with everybody. He's, <laughs> he's a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great night, man.